Good morning. Let's all stand for a reading from the scripture. From Psalm 80, 1 through 2. Shepherd of Israel, hear us. You lead the people of Joseph like a flock. You sit on your throne between the cherubim. Show, show your glory to the people of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. <laughs> Call your strength into action. Come and save us. Father, we thank you so much for this day, Lord. We thank you for the excitement in the air as we prepare for school. I know, Lord, some have already started school, and we just pray for them. And I just thank you that uh, the rest of us will be starting this week. Help us, Lord, to know that you're with us. Help us to know that you can help us through anything. Lord, we love you. We thank you for this day and for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. continue as we sing my lighthouse
Heavenly Father, we thank you so very much for loving us, for caring for us, for being there for us when we need your presence. You are an awesome God. You are filled with love and joy and peace and mercy and graciousness and forgiveness, holiness, and we could go on and on. What a great God you are. So God, as we have gathered here this day, we lift our prayers to you. And we pray for those that we are concerned for. We pray for the needs that are, are pressing upon us and causing us to, to, uh, to just have some times of, of uh, uncertainty. And Lord, we just pray, bring those concerns to you and we place them at the altar, on the, prayer, uh, on the altar of prayer in front of you, Lord. And I just pray also, Lord, that as we have gathered here this day, that you would speak to us. We know you're here. We know that you will be speaking to us. So it's really a matter of whether we're going to listen or not. So help us to open our eyes and our ears and our hearts and our minds so that we might hear your word of encouragement, your word of, of comfort, your word of challenge for this day. Lord, we honor you. We give you the praise. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Hey, let's go ahead and take up our Diamond Day missions offering. If the kids would like to go to the back and get their containers, all of the monies that are received do go to support our missions uh, partners in Honduras, the Love and Faith Ministries. Just one announcement today, and that is that we do have our offering plate at the back for your tithes and your offerings. You can place them in there on your way out, or if you think you're going to forget, you can get up and go take it back there now. That's fine with me. You can also use the GiveLify app on your phone or go to the GiveLify website and find Rockwall Free Methodist Church, all good ways of getting your tithes and your offerings to uh, the church. Now, the kids are going to stay in here with us today for our our message because really it's all about going back to school but we do have nursery available if uh, you have one that needs to go to the nursery nope have you ever noticed I know Mary Ann has, 
<laughs> that there's a certain section in the Target stores that changes with the season, right? If you go into it in October, you're going to find this section that's all scary and spooky because they've already started with their Halloween. And as soon as Halloween is over, November 1, Christmas comes out. And the aisles are filled with Christmas for two months long, and there's Christmas items everywhere. And as soon as Christmas is over, it's time for Valentine's. And you get out your Valentine's uh, 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 hearts and candies and all of the things that go along with Valentine's. And as soon as Valentine's is over, Easter. And you've got all of your Easter things out in this section, and it's just a great thing. And as soon as Easter's over, they get out all of their things that you're going to enjoy throughout the summer. It's just a summer thing. But sometime during the summer, that aisle becomes a dark and a terrifying area. Because it becomes filled with items that we don't like to think about. Items that are going to fill our backpacks and our desks. And that is the school supply section. Maybe you've already visited it. Probably you already have since tomorrow is the first day for Rockwall schools. And others in the area have already started and others will start later on during the week. And so you've already gone into this section because uh, it's time, is it not? Time to check the backpacks. Make sure there's no holes in your backpacks. Who got a new backpack this year? Raise your hand if you have a brand new backpack this year. Whoa, look at that. All kinds of brand new. Y'all have new backpacks or you, you, you still go, well, using ones that are broken in? Good. I like broken in ones. See all of my backpacks up here? These, yes, these are all mine. I use them for various and different things computer bag. This one is packed for, this is a go bag for swimming in case uh, one of the kids says, hey, come over and let's go swimming. I just grab that one. It's got everything I need in it. Oh, this one over here I use if I'm coming to the church to get an item. I put that on my back and jump on my bicycle and I come over to the church and I use that one for that purpose. And uh, oh, this one we took games in when we went on our little trip. Right, Albert? You remember this one? Yeah, yeah. Somebody over there probably recognizes that one. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, whoop. And this one is my everyday computer backpack here. So I use all of these different backpacks for various things. Yeah, I've been known to have two on at a time. One in the front, one in the back. Yeah, it's kind of fun, right? Ah, good old days. Or bad old days if you don't really want to go back to school. But you have all of these things that you're going to be taken back to school. You got, um, you got all the school supplies, but there's one thing that you may not have thought about that you want to make sure that you take to school. And that is the Word of God. Now, you may or may not want to take a full-size Bible. I know some of you can put them on your apps, those of you who have iPhones, and you can take them that way. But even in, if you take a, a hard copy or if you take a, a Bible app on your phone, there are going to be times when you need the Word of God on the tip of your tongue. And the only way to have the Word of God on the tip of your tongue and in your mind is to memorize Scripture. Right? And so there's always a way of taking the Word of God with you to school or to work or out into the yard when you're mowing the yard or when you're playing at the pool or wherever. The Word of God can be with you to meet all of the challenges that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether it's at school or whether it's at work or whether it's at home or in the neighborhood, or in the grocery store, or in Target. So load your minds on the Word of God.
I can't believe school's going to be so hard this year. I'm taking math, English, science, and history, and I have homework in all, in all four every night. This backpack is so heavy, and there's no room to take the most important book, my Bible. I wish there was another way to take God's word to school with me. Backpack too heavy? Looking for another way to take the Bible to school with you? Yeah, that's what I was just telling these guys. Then you need to try back to school verses. Back to school verses? What's that? It's the new and improved way to take the Bible with you. To school, to the mall, to your friend's sleepover, to the pool, anywhere you go, you can have the word of God at your fingertips. Yeah, but how much does it weigh? I mean, these textbooks weigh a ton, and I can't squeeze this NIRV Bible with concordance in with them. Back to school verses don't weigh a thing. They can fit right in your personal memory bank where you have more storage room than a laptop computer. You mean this memory bank? But it's full of useless trivia about Dyer of a Wimpy Kid books and Taylor Swift lyrics. <laughs> Trust me, if you have room for Shake It Off, you have room for verses like Joshua 1.9. Here's what I'm commanding you to do. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord, your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. Wow, that verse can remind me to, re to rely on God for my strength in difficult times. How about Colossians 3.23? Work at everything you do with all your heart. Work as if you were working for the Lord, not for human masters. That teaches me I can serve God by working hard and doing my best. And what about the ever popular Philippians 4.13? I can do everything by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. That verse teaches me I can do great things when I rely on God for my strength. Yes, if you can learn vocabulary words, you can memorize the back to school verses. Are you kidding? Learning Bible verses is way easier and much more useful than learning the definition of expeditious. Back to school verses fit conveniently in your brain. No weight added to your backpack, no special handling needed. Thanks, commercial guy. I'm going to start memorizing the back to school verses right now. Good for you and it's commercial actor. Add the back to school verses to your school supply list and make this a great year. Yay. All right, thank you, thank you. Alyssa and Albert, appreciate it. All right, so let's take a closer look at those three verses that they just introduced us to. The first one, Joshua 1.9. These are the back-to-school verses, back-to-school Bible verses. Joshua 1.9, Colossians 3.23, Philippians 4.13. First one, Joshua 1.9, be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord your God. I will be with you everywhere you go. That's a great verse for school, but I got to tell you, those of us that are out of school, that's a great verse for us too. We face challenges daily, all of us, whether we're in school, whether we're teaching school, whether we're at our workplace, or whether we're just doing things around the house. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. By the way, these are from the New International Reader's Version. New International Reader's Version is a version of the Bible that is printed uh, to be uh, understood by third graders. Are you smarter than a third grader? <laughs> no. Well, that's what these, this version is all about. So that, that verse tells us, oh, by the way, that verse, back up. That verse was, uh, is the words of God to Joshua when Joshua was taking over leadership of the Israel nation. Moses had finished his 40 years of leadership, and it's time for a new leader. Moses is about to pass away. I mean, he's 120 years old by now. And it's time for new leadership. Joshua is about to take over. And Joshua might have had just a little bit of a nervous streak. I don't know. I mean, aren't you a little apprehensive when you start something new? When you go to school for the first day? Go into a new classroom with a new teacher? Maybe meet some new friends? What about when you go to a new job? 
or those of you that do service, you go into a new service uh, area. I mean, I, I got I to stop and think about that. I see, I see these guys that, that do service calls, and they come and they work on your air conditioner, and I'm thinking, man, how many different houses and people do they interact with on a daily basis? Wow, you know? Or in a grocery store where you're working, right? Tom Thumb, Target, wherever. You know, those are, it's, it's a challenge daily. It's a great verse. And so that verse teaches us that God will be with you, so have courage. God is with you, so have courage. Second verse, Colossians 3.23. Work at everything you do with all your heart. Work as if you were working for the Lord. Whatever you're doing, do it as if you're doing it to please God. Whew. Whether it's mowing the yard, whether it's driving the limousine for an important celebrity, whether it's changing a poopy diaper, do it as you're doing it to please the Lord. There is no job in the church or around the house that is more important than the other one. We are all to do them as God would, in a way that we're to please God. You all, you, you, do you ever not want to get caught doing the wrong thing at work by your boss? Or do you ever not want to get caught doing the wrong thing by your teacher? Then always act as if they're right there looking over your shoulder, whether they're there or not. And you'll never do anything that's displeasing to them and you won't do anything that's displeasing to God either. Do your best because you want to do everything, even that hard to finish class project for God. Do it for God, right? And then the third one, if the ever so popular, as our commercial guy tells us, ever so popular, Philippians 4, excuse me, commercial actor. I knew I said it wrong. Philippians 4.13, I can do all this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. I love that verse. The Philippians may have been going through some hard time. By the way, the, the letter that Paul wrote to the Philippians is filled with promises. I mean, if you want a book in the Bible that's filled with one-liner promises, Philippians is your go-to book. I mean, you've got them everywhere, all through the book of Philippians. Oh, the rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice, that's in Philippians. He who began a work in you is faithful and will bring it to completion, that's in Philippians. Philippians, all kinds of great verses. Do, I can do all things. I can do all of this by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Okay, so that's, that's a great verse, and that, uh, that tells us to remember, your strength comes from God. Your strength comes from God. So it doesn't mean, now just a little disclaimer, that doesn't mean you can leap off a tall building with a single bound. It doesn't mean he's going to give you the ability to stop a locomotive, you can't do all of those kinds of things, but you can do all things necessary to fulfill God's plan for your life. Everything, everything that God has planned for you, you can do through his power. And that's what that verse is all about. So those are your back to school verses. Back to school verses right there. So that every week, we can memorize and we should memorize scripture. Even us adults should memorize scripture. Do you know the kids memorize scripture in, in Life Club? On a regular basis, they memorize scripture. And the older they get, the more verses is added to it. So that by the time they're in sixth grade, they're, they're memorizing Ephesians 6, 10 through 17. The armor of God passage. Great passage of scripture, right? So it's good to memorize scripture. And as we memorize scripture, we have the scripture, the word of God right here 
and it's ready for quick recall. Just as quick, or if not quicker, than what you can look it up on your computer or on your, on your iPhone. It's right here. Memorize scripture. Familiarize yourself with it. I mean, you don't even have to know it necessarily word for word. Just know that when you look at Joshua 1.9, be strong and courageous because God's with you. That's the word of God. It's not word for word that it says in your Bible, but that's the, the gist of the scripture. Colossians 3.23, do everything as if you're doing it for God. Philippians 4.13, you can do anything that God wants you to do because he's going to give you the strength and the power to do it. Those are great, great verses. So those are the kinds of things. When we memorize Bible verses, we have God's word on the tip of our tongues, on the tip of our minds. We don't have to search for it or hunt for a verse of inspiration or encouragement. We have it. Don't have to pull out a giant Bible. We have it. It's right here. Right here in the memory banks of our mind. And the more verses you know, the more prepared you are for any challenge that comes your way. Right? So I have my backpack. And I have this one prepared to go to school. Let's see if I have the things that I need or the things I don't need for school. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see here. What do I have in my backpack? Um, crayons? Do I need those for school? Probably, right? Okay. Um, erasers? I make a lot of mistakes. Need to do a lot of erasing, so okay. So I need erasers. A stuffy? N no, I don't need a stuffy. <laughs> Some would say I might, but I really don't, right? Okay, don't need the stuffy. I'll put him over there. Um, a pencil bag. Yeah? Not just pencils, but it, uh, it's called a binder pouch. Uh, I could put all kinds of things in there, right? Small rulers, six-inch rulers, pencils, pens, erasers. Toothbrushes? No, don't need those at school? Should do that before you go to school, right? Okay, all right. Uh, pencils? Yeah, I need pencils. Okay, that's a good one. Um, let's see. What else do I have in here? Oh, I really want to take this to school. I can't take that to school? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, okay. Grandkids are going to want to play with that later. Yeah. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Oh, a Bible. That's kind of a big one, though, right? I could take it to school, and it would be okay to take it to school, but that's a big one. Uh, maybe I should go with something a little smaller. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. Or even smaller than that, something... A Bible verse that's in the memory bank of my mind. Right? You can always take the Word of God with you. Oh, I wonder where those were. I might need one of those later. Okay. Okay, so, so I'm ready for school. You said I should take maybe this little Bible and the pouch, the erasers, crayons. The pencils, the stuff, yes? Okay, stuffy. No? Where'd my toy go? Oh, no, I can't take that with me. Okay, all right. And I don't need a toothbrush. I should do that before I go to school, right? Okay, all right. And I'll leave the big Bible. Okay, so I'm ready for school. All right. All right. Well, you can't fill in a Bible, t a, a bubble test without a number two pencil, right? You know those bubble tests you have to take out the pencil and mark the little bubble, right? That's why we buy them and we take them to school every year. You can't color a map for the United States without having colored pencils, 
So you need to have them with you. That's why we buy them. And you can't face the challenges of school without God. That's why we need to learn the Word of God and have it readily available, right? Okay, so let's see if you're ready. I get the privilege of giving you the first pop quiz of the year. You ready? First pop quiz. Number one, we can take the Word of God to school in our minds by blank Bible verses. Memorizing. That's right. Memorizing. Okay. Number two, be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Very good. Don't you wish all your pop quizzes were? Oh, is this in case you get it wrong? Oh, okay. But you're not going to get it wrong, so I'm not going to get to push it. Number three, do not lose hope, for I, the Lord your God, I am the Lord your God. I will be with you, blank, you go. Wherever, anywhere. Everywhere, same thing. It's all the same thing. I'll take all those answers. Okay, I'll take all those answers. All right, number four. Work at everything you do. Wait. Work at everything you do with all your heart. Work as if you were working for blank, blank. The Lord for Jesus Christ? Yeah, okay. The Lord, Jesus Christ. All right, that answer is good. All right, number five. I can do blank by the power of Christ. He gives me strength. Anything, all things, okay. Both the right answers. Everything. Anything, everything, all things. Man, I didn't get... we we'll do it anyway. And... That is the end. So I gave you the first pop quiz of the year. You all got a hundred. So there you go. There you go. So you tell you, you go when you go to school. You tell your teachers. Uh, let's see, Mrs. Benavides, right, and uh, Mrs. Edwards, right. That uh, and that's the only two I know that kids have. Uh, that um, you've already had your first quiz of the year, and you passed. All right. So again. One more time, Joshua 1, 9, right? What is it? What's the gist of it? Have courage, yeah. Joshua 1, 9, be strong and courageous because I am with you, because the Lord is with you. Colossians 3, 23, do everything as if you're doing it for the Lord. You can... Whatever you do, whatever work you do, do it to please God. And when you do, you will give your 100% effort to everything and anything that you do. That's very important. And then third, uh, third scripture. Whoa, I can do all things through, with, I can do all things by the power of Christ. Because he strengthens me. And where is that found? 13. So most of you now have already memorized or at least the gist of three Bible verses in one 25 minute period. Go forth and do more. Right? Go forth and do more. We always need the Word of God. The Word of God guides us it teaches us, it directs us, it keeps us from wrong, it helps us do right. The Word of God is given to us for a reason. It's our roadmap, it's our comforter, it's our challenge helper, everything you can imagine. The Word of God is important. 
Making sure I didn't leave anything out? I don't think I did. Want another pop quiz? No, we're not doing that. All right. I want to make sure that, oh, we have, okay, let's see. Um, I need some volunteers to help me pass out some papers. Come on, Malia. Come on up, Rowan. Anybody else? I can do another one or two. You want to help? There you go. Take these and pass them out. Okay. Take these and pass them out to everybody. Make sure everybody gets one. Okay, Brady. Give a few to Brady. You want these passed out now, too? Okay. Here you go. One of these for everybody? You want to help? One of these for everybody? No? Okay. Okay. All right. We're about to have our blessing of the backpack a commissioning service, so if your child is out of the room, you might want to go bring them in with their backpacks, and we'll, uh, we'll have our blessing of the backpacks. Yes, I see that. Did everybody get one? Thank you. Now, Hallie has papers she's passing out. See if she'll give you some to you to help her. Help. Give some. Take some of those. Thank you. All right. Everyone should have a small one like this, which is the commissioning service. And everyone should have one like this, which are the verses for you to take with you. Right? One of each. Yes. If you are going to school in any capacity, preschool all the way up through college, I invite you to come up here to the front with your backpacks or with the school items that you may have brought with you. Come on up. Line, you, you want it here? You can do this part, Miss Talina. Teachers. If you're involved in education in any way, whether you're at the university, we got two, two college kids here. Oh, David needs a backpack. Here you go. Now you're ready to go, you're ready to go swimming now. Okay, it's a little different this year. The only thing that y'all are going to say is repeat after me at the very end, okay? So just listen very carefully as I read our commissioning service this morning. What a great group of kids and adults. All right, as we come to this time of year, we are sometimes encouraged and sometimes apprehensive. Hopefully, we are always prepared. Let us at this time especially live by these words. Israel, listen to me. The Lord is our God. The Lord is the one and only God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love Him with all your strength. 
The commandments I give you today must be in your hearts. Make sure your children learn them. Teach about, talk about them when you are at home. Talk about them when you walk along the road. Speak about them when you go to bed and speak about them when you get up. Write them down and tie them on your hands as a reminder. Also tie them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses. Also write them on your gates. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. Our backpacks and bags contain things we need. Lunches, snacks, books and papers, electronic devices, jackets and shoes. We put on our backpacks and carry our bags and go out into the world. Whether we walk, drive, or ride the bus to school, or whether we drive or to work or bike to the university, we take our backpacks with us. God has called us by name and we belong to Him. Nothing can separate us from His love. As we carry these backpacks, let us be God's presence in the world at school, at work, and at play. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as Jesus said, your followers are the salt of the earth and the light into the world. Therefore, we commission these students and these teachers, and we send them out into the world with your light to be your light and to be uh, your salt in a dark and lost world. Keep them from danger and from fear. When they are in new places and with new people, help them to remember that you have written their names on the palm of your hand. Let them always know that they are your children in your world. And repeat now these words after me. Lord, we ask you to keep us safe. Lord, we, ask you to keep us safe. we ask you to guide all of our steps. We ask you for your blessings. We ask you for our blessings. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And this is our group. Oh, not yet. Not yet. This is our group 2022-23 students, teachers, and staff. And don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. And to commemorate this day, we have a button for you to put on your backpacks if you so desire or for any place that you would like to put them. It says Rockwall Free Methodist Church across the top. It says blessed in the middle. And then the verse at the bottom says, For you uh, bless the godly. You surround them with your shield of love. Psalm 512. Those are the words of God. Or, for you bless the godly. That's us saying that, that God does that. You surround us with your shield of love. So there you okay. go. Now let's stand together as we sing our closing song. And it is about a God that is awesome. Because it is an awesome God that goes with us, strengthening us and giving us power.
If any of the kids from VBS want to sing it with us, come stand right up here. If you don't, that's fine. Anybody that wants to sing it from Vacation Bible School, come on up and sing. Zoe, you want to sing Awesome God? Come on. Come stand with Malia right here. Hallie, come on up, baby. Sammy, Rowan, Vinny. God, I just thank you so very much for your presence with us this day. And Lord, I just pray that we would always, always walk in the light as you are the light. That we would be a light to the world. That we would be salt to the world. Lord, that you would just empower us. That you would bless us. That you would guide and direct us. Give us your power. Your encouragement to give to others. Your grace to be gracious to others. Your mercy to be merciful to others. Father, we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen and amen. God bless you.